The state seafood industry continues to diversify, but some of the adaptations are not by choice. Rising water temperatures in the Gulf of Maine allow for new species to thrive under its waves. New Center Maine's Sam Rogers shows us the technology that helps scientists plan for the future. It's another day on the water in Robin Hood Cove in Georgetown. But Eros Oysters owner Michael Gaffney is focusing on what's under the water. We were interested in diversifying the farm. Right now we're essentially a one crop oyster operation. He says oysters are selling hot, but he and many others are looking to adapt. You don't want to be a koala bear and have your future tied up only in eucalyptus leaves. As the Gulf of Maine continues to warm, scientists like Marissa McMahon of Manomet are using a new process to study a newer species called quahogs, suited for warmer water. The process is called environmental or eDNA. To identify when and where quahogs are spawning. At the Robin Hood Marina, quahogs or hard shell clams are the focus of McMahon and Peter Countway's water samples. And that will give us some estimate of the amount of, of quahog DNA in the seawater. So they drop and pull and drop and pull, taking samples from different depths. If this technology can in fact tell us about shellfish spawning events, then that's something that we can utilize in shellfish management and conservation coastwide. After the samples are collected, it's time to introduce the next partner in this project, the Bigelow Laboratory. It literally comes down to detecting individual copies of these gene targets. In his lab, Countway explains this testing process is somewhat like a COVID test. We are essentially doing PCR on the ocean. They can track quahogs in the ocean and any increase in their population or signs of spawning, which can allow more farmers to harvest this crop. It's not even a potential. It is a new seafood product. And if they can't harvest soft shell clams, they can fall back on quahogs. Quahogs are the focus today, but tomorrow eDNA could reshape Maine seafood industry. Sam Rogers, New Center, Maine.